Justin Sun, one of cryptocurrency's most controversial figures, has recently started taking on a more important role for wrapped Bitcoin, also known as WBTC. WBTC is a popular product on Ethereum and on other chains that allows users to access a tokenized version of Bitcoin, and custody of the Bitcoins for this product has historically been held by BitGo. However, on August 9th, BitGo announced that going forward, it would be a strategic partnership between BitGo, Justin Sun, and BIT Global, a trust company based out of Hong Kong. This decision was immediately controversial in the DeFi ecosystem, with MakerDAO quickly passing an executive vote that disabled additional borrows against WBTC. Mike Belch, the chief executive and founder of BitGo, took on a very active role, defending the decision on X, in the MakerDAO forums, and even in an X Spaces hosted to better understand this decision. This Spaces, specifically, drew more attention to BIT Global, the custodian newly involved in WBTC. Belch made sure to claim that Sun is not in the management team of BIT Global and further highlighted that no shareholder could own more than 20% of the firm. However, Protos reviewed corporate records from BIT Global and was able to confirm that one of the directors for the firm is closely related to a variety of Justin Sun business enterprises, including HTX, Tron, TrueUSD, and Poloniex. Additionally, all five of the shareholders for this trust company happen to be companies based out of the same address in the British Virgin Islands, all of whom became shareholders of this trust company on the same day. These issues with BIT Global eventually led to BitGo deciding to keep two of the three keys for itself going forward, with BIT Global controlling only one of the three keys for the Bitcoins custodied for WBTC. However, it seems the strategic partnership is still going forward with a target date of the 8th of October. Coinbase has decided to take advantage of this controversy to launch its own wrapped Bitcoin product, CBBTC. Sun reacted poorly to this news, describing it as central bank Bitcoin and claiming that it lacks proof of reserves and has no audits. He's gone further to claim that all exchanges in the industry have already implemented proof of reserves and any exchange that has not yet completed this process is because they are unable to meet the requirements for a proof of reserves. Awkwardly for Sun, this applies to Poloniex, an exchange he owns, which has yet to complete a proof of reserves despite his frequent promises. Protos reached out to Poloniex to determine what requirements it is unable to meet, but it did not provide an answer. This uncomfortable situation for Sun is compounded by the fact that Poloniex offers its own wrapped Bitcoin product, oft called Bitcoin on Tron, that dwarfs the size of CBBTC. The complaints that Sun levies at Coinbase, no proof of reserves, no disclosure of where Bitcoins are held, can just as easily be targeted at the exchange he owns and the product it offers. Despite these obvious issues with Bitcoin on Tron, it is critically important for the survival of HTX, another cryptocurrency exchange advised by Sun. Over half of the so-called Bitcoins on HTX is in the form of this Bitcoin on Tron project, despite these issues that Sun pretends to care about. Justin Sun holds himself to a much lower standard than he holds Coinbase to. For more WBTC and Justin Sun coverage, visit Protoss.com.